today we are going to create a tunnel uh, which is looking like this which contains our aircraft inside and the tunnels front face is uh, placed uh, three times the length of the aircraft and uh, in the back face is situated at seven times the length of the aircraft and uh, likewise we have domain sizings uh, you can see uh, from your monitor what is uh, applied we are uh, going to construct a wind tunnel around this aircraft so that we can run a cfd analysis over this uh, structure so first i need to have a measurement for my tunnel so i am measuring my model's dimensions using the measure tool um, so the length of the aircraft is coming to be 70 yes you have to see in dx because aircraft length is uh, oriented along the x-axis and we need to find the height of the aircraft so i am taking a one point from the under garage and one from the vertical stabilizer so that when i see dy distance it will give up my aircraft's height it is found to be around 40 yes and sorry around 20 um, and i will make up uh, the semi span now because wing span is the distance between the two wing tips whereas uh, here i have only the half of my uh, aircraft so i just need to have semi wing span which will be reported as dz in this model which is found to be 40 so my aircraft length is 70 and then um, its uh, semi span is 40 and then the height of the aircraft is 20 here we go so for creating a tunnel we just need uh, some reference point uh, from that reference point we will create some uh, reference curves and based on that I will draw the uh, necessary uh, tunnel surfaces for performing our external aerodynamics analysis so going to the project point so relative point and the tunnel's front face needs to be um, three times the length of the aircraft and it should be uh, in the foremost of the aircraft nose so just creating a point to specify that uh, front face so uh, if you notice that my x-axis is increasing in this direction but I want to proceed in the negative direction so that my front face will be at the foremost from the nose cone of my aircraft so I am just input uh, a value of 3 times the length which is nothing but uh, 210 meters so adding it and then uh, if I just give 210 then it will just make a point which is uh, just uh, here but what I need is my uh, front face uh, y uh, is varying from this one which is um, my domain can have a uh, five times the actual height of the aircraft so um, since i am proceeding from the top of the air aircraft i am just taking it as 2.5 as an approximate figure and 2.5 times that height just yields uh, 50 and that 50 should be in meters yes good and you can press ok and press F9 I think uh, yes we created a point and uh, you can easily see uh, so for your visibility only I made the background of the answer as a white one so one point has been created 
that is uh, in front of my aircraft and it is lying at some height above my aircraft you can see uh, by adjusting your view to f1 so you can simply see that this point is above my aircraft and it is also in front of my aircraft so now uh, I, I want to define the end point of my tunnel sorry end phase which is going to be uh, 10, 10 times the length so uh, I am creating a relative point for this one particular point uh, by going up to 7 times uh, sorry 10 times the length so 70 is my length so, so this much it has to move in the positive x direction that's correct sorry 70 10 x with 700 sorry uh, this point needs to be deleted because I we defined it um, wrongly so this is the point actually we need um, so we need to uh, relate these two points in order to define the uh, bottom um, end point of uh, front and uh, back of the wind wind tunnel wall so just selecting these two points center click to accept and it can be uh, five times the depth sorry height that is why i have put uh, 100 there and i have got my reference points and my tunnel can go uh, in the z direction up to um, two times so it's actually negative 80 meters every point has been translated so with this one we are going to achieve our tunnel so go to curves curves this one and this one between these two points I made a curve likewise I am making a curve here also I can make a curve here also in the same way to here then simply go go for this side and try to make a surface using Kuhn's function and it will ask a name and I am naming it as symmetry plane the use of it you can understand the use of why I am creating this symmetry plane uh, when we are solving this physics so just accept as of now so we have a plane uh, we have a surface which just uh, gets a touch with the edges of the aircraft uh, surfaces so uh, I need to project uh, the aircraft edges on these surfaces um, okay uh, we can go to cows project uh, cons project and then make a loop selection select everything and we need to select the face so make sure your crosshair is on for the surface selection and then it is sim like uh, now also it is saying select cons that means we need to uh, click a uh, center click and then we need to select face now it has been projected now you can perform topo uh, we will apply it for all okay it applied and what we need to uh, do now is this surface since it is closed the aircraft is now a volume this volume in this volume uh, there is uh, there is no flow is going to be happen when we consider external flow so 
this volume needs to be kept as open so for that purpose I am just deleting uh, this uh, trimmed surface from the symmetry plane so once after you delete your tunnel uh, your aircraft will be like this one so once after accomplishing um, uh, pro, uh, so these uh, symmetry plane and this uh, aircraft body needs to be attached uh, like uh, with the yellow cons so proper edge needs to be there please check out that one and then uh, if suppose uh, if the symmetry plane intersects our model then you need to use um, intersect option and delete the unwanted portion so that we can have a one single closed volume uh, uh, within that uh, sorry within the, uh, there will be a fluid flow happens so now i'm going to coons and just selecting these uh, top portions and naming it as wind tunnel top and just double click it to accept and then select this and uh, that has been taken the name but I want to change it to uh, wind tunnel side likewise sorry for the coons once again and just accept and say it as internal bottom okay now you can delete uh, the cows which you used for creation of uh, uh, this creation of this uh, surfaces and just topo give a topo it will take up some time depending upon your RAM memory and now just go to cones and select this option S close it and name it as front which is nothing but your inlet so WT front inlet likewise you can close the bottom also new t shell and wt sorry it's um, back and it's outlet good well defined yes so we created our tunnel so within this um, in the next lectures we will um, we will make a mesh model uh, we will create a mesh on this uh, fully cleaned geometry um, and we will check out the physics conditions then in a, in a solver a, it may be either uh, ANSYS fluent or it may be star okay Thanks guys for watching.